Welcome back guys. Oh man, I, I've had a nightmare today. I've had a serious nightmare day. It's just been horrible. Um, I may tell you about it during the time lapse. I may not, because to be honest, it's fairly boring, but it was just, just horrible. Um, so um, I, I think because I'm running late, we'll d drive straight into the time lapse. And, um, and we'll do that after a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by me and my official game store, where right now you can get 10% off foundation. Breaking news, Transport Fever is now available in my official game store and it's 66% off until the 11th of February, so don't miss out. And these are 100% official Steam keys direct from the developer. So check out the link in the video description. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. Because, because frankly I forgot what I did now. <laughs> I'm anxious to see what I did. Oh yeah, I put in some loading zones. God, that seems ages ago now. I put in some, I, I've just put in a couple of loading zones just to continue making the roads a little bit different. And then I thought, yeah, well, you know, we can try and fill in the airfields a little bit. So I, I, I added a few of those, um, those hangar buildings. Now, <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta say, some of this was, was kind of agonizing. It's loads of like lion roads and uh, struggling, laying them again, and then realizing that. I haven't given myself enough room and then it causes me problems with buildings and all that. So, so you know what? You watch, you watch me agonizing and, and struggling and I'll, um, I'll tell you what, why I've had such a nightmare day. Or, or you could just like, turn the sound off and like put some music on because it's not really that interesting. Um, so, okay. So, a little while ago, I was, uh, I was chatting with the guys at Calypso who produced the Tropico series. And, um, and they asked me if I'd be interested in doing some stuff with them. And uh, they ended up inviting me out to their offices in Frankfurt, Germany. And now, what was I going to say? Was I going to say no? Of course I wasn't. I was going to say yes. I'd love to go out there. So, um, so yeah, they've organ they're organizing me a little trip. And um, it's going to be quite cool because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out there and I'm going to spend some time with, uh, with Limbic who are the developers of um, the current Tropico 6. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna go over to um, Calypso and, uh, and meet up with those guys. And they're gonna tell me about um, a, well, a bunch of things that uh, some of which I can't talk about. So, so. But, but I will in the future, in the future I will. It'll be very cool. See, this is where, this is where I suddenly realized that I didn't really leave myself enough room. It's really difficult to get the buildings, but I did manage it eventually. So. So anyway, back to the story. So, so I was like, "Yeah, I'd love to come out." And they were like, "Okay, cool. Well, we'll, we'll set something up. Uh, we'll set something up kind of early March or whatever." And I was like, "Yeah, sounds great." Um, then I realised that I, I needed to renew my passport. So, so then it was like paddock stations. Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, yeah, yeah, okay. But that's that's not a nightmare. That's just like you know one of those things you have to do. The nightmare was going to the freaking post office. Oh my god. Do you want, seriously, the devil, the devil lives in the post office. The de, like, if you want to know what hell's like, go to a post office. Like, oh my God, those places. Seriously, like, forget the Spanish Inquisition. You want to torture, but oh, you want to see, you want to see some suffering. Look at me trying to get this blooming corner in. It just wouldn't go in. It just wouldn't, like, crazy. What, the, what was that like? Ten attempts to get a corner to go in. It's a little bit like that. So, uh, like here, I'm like, yeah. So I'm trying to find like the thinnest buildings that I can find to go in, and I'm having to put them in without assets as well. Although, I, well, that one's going in with assets, and that one's going in with assets. So it's, it was just like the first three that I couldn't get in with assets. So there were no signs on the first three. But you know what? It mixes it up because. Um, the signs are all pretty similar, so it's a good idea to kind of mix them up and have some with signs and some without and whatever. But I will say, um, like once I got into it, I kind of got like, I kind of speeded up and the whole thing started to come together. And I have to say by the end of it, well, well, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. You'll see. So anyway, yeah, so, oh God, I hate, don't you hate post offices? My God, they are the most, horrendous soul-destroying places in the blooming universe 
and I walked in there, and of course, like, when have you ever been to a post office and there hasn't been an enormous queue? Like, ever. Have you ever been to a post office and there wasn't a huge freaking queue? Which does make you question, like, why don't they just employ some more freaking people? Like, there's a queue there. It's, it's like, it's like, Supermarkets used to be. Supermarkets have got so much better now. But, like, oh, it drives you wild. It drives you witless. I'm still fuming about it, can you tell? I'm like, Aah. There was much gnashing of teeth, trust me. I was waiting, seriously, I was waiting in the blooming post office for like, it, must, it was like over an hour. And then, and then, like, you get, you finally get to the counter. And the guys, and the guys there are like, could they possibly move any slower? I mean, like, th they should employ pandas. That's that's what they should do. They should employ pandas. Pandas would love it in a post office. It's their kind of pace of life, you know. Just like, you know, I, I, seriously, you expect to see the the post office workers, you know, chewing on a stick of bamboo. But hey, I digress. A lot. I do like the I do like the panda idea though. That's kind of good. This turned out to be like quite a good idea, and this is something I think I'm going to do more of. Um, putting in little car parking areas, not necessarily hooked up to the roads, just just little car parking areas like that, and then stick a few cars in. That'll look very cool. I like that idea. Now, as you can see, the majority of this um, of this video is going to be me just like putting in like load of buildings and roads and car parks and, and that's kind of what it is. Now what I was hoping to do today was um, was to do all of that and then get onto like the dressing up and like a bit more blending in. I like basically make a lot more progress but because of my nightmarish day um, I ended up not having much time to actually do this. So, so I have made as much progress as I would have liked, which is, um, so I apologize for that. But I think, I think it's, it's what the progress that I have made is good progress. I'm really liking how it looks. So that's really good. So it's just, it's just a case of making more progress, which I am going to try and make up for tomorrow. Cause like, Tomorrow, I've got, literally, I, I've got nothing else to do other than make videos. So I'm gonna be spending loads and loads of time on this. Um, and at the end, like after after the time lapse, um, I'm gonna show you some stuff and then I'm gonna pose you um, pose you some questions. Now this bit, this was kind of the, probably the highlight. Cause I thought, you know what, when, when I go to, um, I think it's Heathrow. When I go to Heathrow, there is a road that runs across the end of one of the runways at Heathrow, and it does have security barriers and warning signs and stuff. And I suddenly had this idea: oh, let's put some of those in. So I did that, and um, I think they look really good. Now, I th yeah, at this area, I wanted to. I, I'm, I'm doing the old security barriers again and whatever, which is kind of cool. And then. I put I put one type of barrier in, it didn't look right, so I put in another type of barrier and that look, looks way, way better. Now this side, I started putting some commercial in and then I suddenly realized that I meant to do industrial on this side. Not not factories and stuff, but more like warehousey kind of things. And, uh, and it ended up, I think, looking not too bad. So, like in the center and on the on the on the on the first side that I did, it's going to be like commercial, and then on this side, it's going to be more uh, industrially focused, which um, helps again helps to give different looks to different areas. And then I was like, yeah, if this is going to be like an industrial, like like little industrial parks and whatever, then I need to have some kind of roads like going in like through the buildings and stuff and not just have like square blocks and whatever actually make it look a bit interesting oh god this look at this just watch this how many attempts do i have to have
to get this blooming corner to go in again. Seriously, it just didn't want to go in. Eventually, eventually I settled for that, which is not, not really a very perfect corner, but it's like, yeah. This was kind of the one industrial, like, like actually really industrial building that I put in, which has got like, you know, a smokestack and some, uh, and some, some oil tanks and whatever. But that's like the one that's furthest away from the runway. So I thought, yeah, go on, I can do that. And then, then I found some other nice kind of buildings to go around it. I ended up not too bad. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the flavor of what's gonna be on this side of the airport. And then again, loads more textures and stuff. And you can see as, as we're going on and on, the green is disappearing and being replaced with, you know, concrete and gravel and that kind of stuff. And I think this was the only building that I, I ended up like, did I link that one together? Oh no, I was gonna link it together and then I was like, nah, I changed my mind. I should probably do that actually, see if I can link some buildings together and um, make some make some little interesting complexes. That'd be, that'd be a good thing. So again, I'm mixing it up and some buildings I'm putting in with, um, with signs on and some I'm taking the signs off and other assets and whatever. And then throwing in some more textures I like every bit. Now, this bit over here, this ends up, this, uh, it's the bit, inf it's the bit to the, to the right of, of that area now. That ends up, I think, looking like really good. Now, yeah, ah, now, this, this side of the airport, I thought, you know what, how am I going to, how am I going to blend that in? And I thought, you know what, having a, having a bit of a forest behind those buildings could look quite good and I think it does now but but this area because this is too close to the to the actual runway you wouldn't have trees um, like that close to the end of a runway because trees attract birds and what you don't want is birds anywhere near the plains or whatever so I've done my best to get rid of those trees. Now, I mean, is the forest to the side like way too close? Yeah, in reality, but you know, you gotta take a bit of like poetic license with this stuff. I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best guys, I promise. I don't know about that texture. I mean, two minds about that texture. I may change that one texture at the end of the runway. I don't know, I'll see, I'll, I'll see if it, it like grows on me or whether I hate it or whatever. Now this is the area that I'm talking about. This is the area that I ended up really liking. And again, I've, I've discovered that a lot of the time, if I, if I just like kind of throw in some random roads, like, like just like throw some roads together, like around the place and then it starts to give me ideas about okay so I've got this I've got this bunch of funny shapes like what do I put in there to fill in those little areas and it kind of forces you to put buildings in at angles and 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 and, and start to become a little bit creative about like how you fill the spaces in and kind of one thing leads to another so I think that I think that's um that's a well that's the closest you're going to get to a tip see there's another another one of those Little car parks going in, little car parky area. It's not linked to the roads. It's just for the just for the looks. But yeah, I, I think that's actually a good tip. Like if you're if you're getting stuck creatively, just throw some random roads in and then fill in the areas. Like see what you can get to go in. So I I would have never angled those buildings like that if I hadn't had that funny area to fill in. And so, same with like along here. And they end up being, like frequently, they end up being the most interesting areas where you've got like tiny little funny places and you manage to squeeze a building in or a couple of buildings. 
this bit, this bit, like both sides of this, look, I think look really good now. Like if you if you if you take the bus or the um, or the tram or whatever up and down that road, it looks it looks really good. So I'm now now I'm just looking for kind of different buildings to give. So I ended up going for some. Um, some industrial buildings just to give it like a bit of a warehouse feel right right at the back nearest to the to the airport then see I, I put in that same texture and I was like you know what I don't like that texture and I just put in a plain concrete instead and I think it looks a lot better I might do that at the other end and then that leaves us with this side and I started I started to do it and I thought okay so let, let, let me throw in let me, let, let me do my trick with the random roads and I'll, I'll, I'll throw some kind of randomy roads in. And then I was like, you know what? This is gonna be very similar to, to what I've done on the other side. So, you know what? We're coming to the end of the time lapse. Let me tell you about that after the time lapse. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it at that point. Now, I would, I would have liked to have done a lot more in this episode, but, um, you know. I, I just ran out of time today. Uh, it wasn't a good day. Tomorrow, thank God, I'm going to have plenty of time. So I'm going to spend a lot of time on this. And I think you've got the idea now, right? So I think it would be, I think it would be a good idea for me to, to maybe, maybe do this offline, like finish off putting these buildings in or whatever. But I, I am going to ask you the question and you can, you can leave a, leave a comment and tell me, would you rather me to, like continue doing it and continue time lapsing it? Um, or do you, or, you know, or do you want me to just do it offline and get it done? And, and I know, and I know what, what you'll say. 50% of you will say do it in time lapse and 50% of you will say do it offline. Cause that's what you always do, you lot. So yeah, um, over here, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing as this. We can throw some buildings in. Um, we're going to have some more stuff going in here. Uh, probably, probably some industrial blending into some residential kind of, like a few residential going, like going up here and here maybe, um, some buildings around here as well. And then there's going to be, there's going to be some more forest to blend this together and, uh, and some stuff, <laughs> some stuff. And then I can get down to the real serious thing of dressing this up and that's a I guess that's a third option the third option would be for me to do kind of the the bulk of it uh, like offline and then maybe maybe do maybe do the dressing up time lapse or whatever except putting the cars in because the car's going to take freaking hours like I'll just I will give you a tiny taste of what that's going to be like now uh, where's where's my cars Where's my cars? That's trucks, that's semi-trailers. Where's my, here's my cars, I think. Yeah, here's my cars. So, I've got those, and I've got, um, I've got horse-drawn wagons. No, probably not gonna use those. So yeah, I'm gonna be using my, my, God, this is, seriously, this is gonna be a nightmare. Uh, what do I want? I want, I want things like, um, no, those are, these are, these are all old. Where's all my, where's my new ones? No, those are old. In fact, these are all the same freaking car. Where's, where's, what's happened? Okay, I've got Beetles. Okay, I've got Trabants, I've got Corollas, but they're all old. I could use, I, I could pick pickup trucks I can use, but what, what's up with my BMW? Huh, hang on a second. See this, oh, hang on a second, like, do, do I have to, like turn those off or something. Oh, see, there you go. Now I've got my BMWs. See, I, like, I forget. I forget what you have to do with these mods. But yeah, it's gonna be a case of, you know, <laughs> you know, putting, putting some of them around. And, and, it's, and it's like getting different colors and stuff. Uh, uh, it's, yeah, it's gonna be hours and hours of this stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> God, can you imagine? Like, I've got this massive car park over here. I mean, this area over here is pretty big. And then I've got this, and I've got little car parks. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to take me hours. Oh, but it'll be fun. And I tell you what, it'll look freaking awesome when it's finished, I think. I think. 
And then there's going to be um, there's going to be some dressing up with uh, with trucks, for example. So we'll be we'll be sticking some. Where would where would we have trucks? Probably not Carlsberg trucks. Although I mean we could have Carlsberg trucks, but I think it's probably going to be more like like I don't know like DHL trucks and stuff like that around the place. Um, yeah, like stuff like that around the place. So I'll be doing some of that, um, and and yeah, there'll be some there'll be some trailers, and there, there won't be any horse. There's not going to be any posh horses, okay? Because that would just be silly. And I'm not doing that. Uh, but yeah, some some trailer trucks and whatever. DHL Schenker, maybe maybe some DB Schenker trucks around the place. I could have one of those in there. That kind of thing. Yeah. Cool. Um, like, what else? What else are we going to be doing? And uh, what else can I show you now? Well, I suppose... I, you, know, I, you know what? The next train that comes in... Where's the next train? You know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to ask, We're going to have a quick ride on this. And I said I wasn't going to be doing ride videos. And I'm not going to be doing kind of serious ride videos, but I'll, I'll try and do a little ride video now and then. Because we do like riding the trains. So... And I just want to see what this looks like when it's um, when it kind of comes through here, and we uh, and we get a look at the airport, and then actually as it pulls into the airport itself, I want to see what it looks like. So you know what? Let's um, let's go first person. So I speed it up. What, what is it? Oh, it's tab to speed it up. Yeah, of course it is. There we go. So let's have a whiz up the hill. I've got to say it's actually it's actually not too bad. We're getting about twenty. We're getting about twenty-five frames a second at the moment. But it's, I bet you when we come out of here, it's going to slow down. But I can. I'm still running on. I think I'm running on like two times speed now. That's yeah. That's three times speed. So here we go. Oh no, that's three. This is this is normal speed. And yeah, see now I'm around twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four. It's actually not too bad now. I'm kind of impressed. Look at that. Look, we got a plane coming. This is good. This is good. Now, this area over here, I'm really liking. That has come together nicely. You know, some build. We've got the car parts. We've got the buildings. We've got the trees behind. But you can still see everything. And then as we pull in, yeah, I'm liking all the different textures we've got. A few buildings. We do need a few more buildings around the place. But low-rise buildings. We've got enough height now. This looks really good. I'm liking this a lot. And then we pull in. Beautiful. I, this building here, I do. I really like it, but I think it might actually be a fraction too tall. I don't know. If you've got a comment on that, let me know. And one thing I am going to be doing, I think. Um, yeah. One thing I think I am going to be doing is, um, is maybe playing around with some of these buildings and, ch and, ch and changing some of these buildings around. Like, like... Like that one. Is that one maybe a fraction too tall? I mean, I think that one's perfect. That one might be a fraction too tall. I might swap that out with something else. But I want some buildings of this kind of height. More maybe in this area up here. So I might swap some of these buildings out and actually put some of these in. That could be kind of cool. Now, the other thing, I'd like to see what it looks like when we're riding on the on these little trains, on the little run round. So let's just have a, a little run round. You're going in there, aren't you? I think you are. Murya's delight. Hey Murya, how you doing? So let's um, let's have a little run round here and see what this looks like. Yeah, I mean this is this is starting to look like something now. I I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but I mean the, 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 it's still gonna fill in with a few buildings. I love this. This is this is really nice with the buildings tight up against it and some nice roads around the place. Coming into the airport. Getting hiccups. <laughs> and then we pull in. Nice, this is all looking good. Once I've got some vehicles and stuff running around here. Now some static vehicles parked. Some vehicles running around. Could look very good. And then going out. Yeah. This is this is so much better. 
and it's only going to get better. Like this little area, but you see again, we need we need stuff going on down there. We need like we need a few a few goods lying around the place, some vehicles, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is working out the way I had hoped, which is kind of beautiful. Looks so much better. Yeah, what do you think about the height on these? Let me comment if you've got an opinion on that. But yeah, if we if we if I kind of go round round here and try and cut out most of the most of the green bits, so you can actually. We, I, I still need to do some work up here because we. I, these green bits just don't look right, but yeah, it's showing real, real potential. And then, of course, once I've done once I've done this area, and, and basically and basically finished off the uh, the the valley, um, I've still got to I still got to finish this vintage line that goes around here. Um, we can finish finish decorating the village. I can I can finish messing around with this bit little bit over here. I am kind of tempted to maybe reroute this line a little bit, but I don't know. We'll see about that. Once I've done all that, then I can start on this area over here because this area needs needs the same kind of development that this has had. Not not all car parks or whatever, but we need lots more industry and lots more buildings and factories and stuff like that going on over here. So I think that's um, that's maybe going to be the next thing. And I was thinking in this area, because there's not, not a lot going on in this area over here. I was thinking about setting up maybe a big oil refinery. Because we, we've got an oil refinery over here, right? And it's just this, this little plot. And what I was thinking of was, like, so what if I took, like, maybe six of these, like like over here and then had a bunch of buildings around it and oil pumps and oil tanks and all that kind of stuff and made a big big ass refinery going on over here and then instead of instead of having this line coming up to just here um maybe have it coming round maybe have it coming round here down to the refinery something like that so that's some um, that's kind of the plans for the future right it, uh, quick video again tonight because like i said i've been really pushed for time i do apologize i wanted to uh, i wanted to get a lot more done i wanted to i wanted to get this like largely finished but i'll i'll make up for it in the next one i promise guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it do you want to watch this um i don't know do you want to watch an airplane land or take off or something is this one going to take off i think this one's going to this one's going to take off should we have an aircraft take off we haven't done that for ages have we go on let's have an aircraft take off to finish off with Pop that down in the corner. I'm not going to go first person. I don't. I don't think. Am I going to go first? Nah. I think I'm just going to. We'll just have a bit of a takeoff. I should have done it on the other side though, because th th this side's kind of scruffy. But, but when you look back at the airport, so it's like now. Nah, see. So much better. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.